Here we have two functions, one being y equals 3 to the power of x, and the other being y equals 3 times x. They look quite similar, but the graphs themselves are going to be a bit different. So let's start with the, uh, the regular linear function here. It's a linear function with a slope of 3. There's no y-intercept here, so we start at the origin. And then it's just a, a linear function aligned with slope 3. So we can do the normal thing, go up 3, 1, 1, 2, 3 right here, and then over 1. So it's a steep positive slope graph. Great. Now this one's a little bit different. But what we might want to do here is pick a couple of points and then see what it looks like. Uh, this is called an exponential function. It's a positive or increasing exponential function. So what it's going to look like is it's going to come asymptotically from this line here, from the x and, uh, axis, and it's going to cross through what we sometimes call the starting point and then increase exponentially, we say. So to find the starting point or the y-intercept, we just plug in 0 here just like we would do here. So if we do plug in 0 here, we don't get 0 from y. If we have 3 to the power of 0, any number to the power of 0 is just 1. So the starting point is actually here. Now, like I said, exponential functions uh, come uh, asymptotically from the y-axis, and then it starts to jump up. So right here, it starts to move up, and it's going to look something like this, but we, we can pick at least one more point and see where it lies on here. So let's just pick something uh, x equals 1. If we plug in x equals 1, then we get y equals 3 to the power of 1, or y equals 3. So that's actually the same point here. So we can draw it like this. And it actually crosses at the same point here, but it's exponential. So instead of crossing through and going straight, it's going to jump up and go almost seemingly straight up. So we have an exponential function here and our linear function here.